Hi guys, welcome to Tech Inquisitive. In this video, I will show how to enable on screen navigation bar and disable this touch capacitive hardware navigation buttons. Now you can see my buttons are working properly. For this, you need root permission and any root capable file manager like ES File Explorer, Root Browser, or Root Explorer, or any other root capable file manager. For demonstration, I will use ES File Explorer. First of all, open ES File Explorer. Then open the, then enable the root explorer option from here. Grant the root permission. Then go to go to the root directory of your device by tapping on the slash sign. Then navigate to the system folder. Then open the build prop file. Choose yes note editor. Scroll to the bottom and choose edit. At the bottom, paste the command. I have given in the video description qmu.hw dot m a i n q e y s equal to zero and press back tap yes now you have to reboot your phone When rebooting, you will see this Android is starting. And after rebooting, you will see this. The navigation buttons will appear in your screen. You can see the buttons are working properly. And now I will show how to disable the touch capacitive buttons. Now the touch capacitive buttons also working. You can see. If you want to really want to disable this, do very carefully. Open yes file explorer again. Go to the root directory of your device by tapping on this slash icon. Go to system folder and make sure the root explorer option enabled. Go to system folder then go to USR folder then key layout then open this genic.kl file as a text file choose yes node editor choose edit Then scroll to the key number 158. Here is the key number 158. And put a hash before the key number 158. Then go to the key number 172. Put a hash before it as well. Now go to the bottom. The bottom here you can see the key number 187 F switch. Make it to 580. Key 187 F switch key make it to key 580 then press back press back again and save the changes tap yes
Now reboot your phone one sec once again. And rebooting you will see this message and it is starting. After rebooting you will see this buttons has been disabled. This buttons will not work anymore. As you can see now the buttons is not responding. So I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment below thanks for watching